What? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> hey, everyone. Uh, we're here trying to fix the P0491 code, which all of these Audi Q5s get after enough time. This one's at like 150,000 miles. And um, <clears throat> Audi sells a tool for $1,200, $1,600. And there's not other really good ways to do it. There's tons of videos online. But what I wanted to point out is I found this aftermarket tool that's made um, by a place called uh, Auto House Machine. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, they're out of Oregon. And so they basically have remade the Audi tool and it goes on your high pressure sprayer. I just got a cheap one from Amazon and um, they marked the increments of how far you slide it into the bore and it has these different caps. One is straight on and one's a 90 degree and that will help clean out the ports that go into the cylinder head. They were also kind to include these uh, freeze plugs, which it's hard to find these um, from FCP Euro or Audi and they included it. The only thing I had to go out and get was this adapter for my pressure sprayer, so you might have to do that. But, you know, overall this was under $300 and uh, looks like a pretty solid tool. We'll find out how well it works. And they didn't send this to me or sponsor or anything. I just bought it, so to be impartial in this. They also included all these instructions that are pretty detailed. So we're gonna first start by putting the front end into service mode. If you don't know what that is, there's good videos on that. So we'll skip over that. And then the next will be to drop the exhaust down so that water can drain out of it. These are all things that you're gonna to wanna to have on hand before you start the project. Obviously a torque set and um, the triple square M10 is gonna be used for the um, pulley on the water pump. All these gasket, the crossover pipe because it won't seal up again if you disturb it. Um, dipstick O-ring and then you're gonna be getting water in the oil, so you need to change the oil when you're done, and you're gonna lose a lot of coolant. Um, my exhaust bolts were all rusted, so you'll probably wanna have some of those on hand as well. The items on the right here are, are good to replace, like the whole water pump, coolant flange, the thermostat, serpentine belt, and then maybe those vertical coolant pipes if you have time and are ambitious. First step in the instructions is to remove these brackets here and slide them down, and um, and then we're gonna drop down these pipes so that water can drain out when we're blasting the engine. Nice. nice. We gotta pull the spark plugs out for the instructions because water is gonna come up into the cylinder head, which sounds terrifying, but if you've watched other videos, you know that there's a process to get the water back out and we'll have to change the oil. So anyway, he's uh, removing this harness here and then pull out the spark plug. Uh, what are any of those things? We'll pull out those things <laughs> on top of the spark plugs. I can't, dang it. I'll have to look that up later. <laughs> okay, so this is pulled away here. Okay, so this should be something to do with fingers, but. This has to be moved out of the way a little bit just to get these out. It's impossible to pull them out of the way. So. Yeah, that might be enough. Cool. Cool. Thank you. It's nice. Other side comes out except for this is blocking the last one. All right, now it's in service position. Um, I'll link to the video I use, but there's a couple of good guides on that block of wood just to push the uh, front end away far enough to give me all the space here. It's not in the guides, but I'm, I like to remove this here. So just disconnect this end, it goes back in here, disconnect this end here, and then you'll just have this clamp here. To do the clamps, of course you can use pliers, but um, some of the ones way down in here are really hard to get at. I highly recommend this tool here. I got it on Amazon. It lets you clamp the weird angle. Makes makes all this stuff a lot easier than an Audi. Next step is to remove this coolant pipe right here, remove this pulley, remove some brackets down here. I'll talk about when I get to it, but basically we're trying to get at these ports that are here and down here. 
All right, so remove the crossover pipe. There was um, four bolts on it and a hose attached here, 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 <laughs> and this electrical uh, temperature sensor. So if you haven't done it already, you should replace this while you have it out because these parts right here won't seal up again when you put it back. It's also plastic, so after enough heat cycles, it'll be uh, cracking and it's cheap anyway. So he's removing the coolant flange right there because that blocks one of the holes. And we've removed the pulley off the power, the water pump. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we removed that crossover pipe. Tried to remove this vertical pipe, but man, it's blocked by a bunch, by this uh, AC compressor. And that's blocked by the oil cooler. And I'm not gonna be able to get to that today. All right, so we're going for this freeze plug right here. And the instructions say to hit it right here with a, a punch and it will twist sideways when you pull out the pliers. So let's try that. I can't get a good enough swing. It's the most awkward swing ever. All right, got one of them turned off camera, of course. Um, the trick was, because there wasn't enough room to swing a hammer in here, is that we use this pick tool and then um, one of us held and the other one hit. If you're by yourself, I'm sure you can do it, but it's definitely easier with two people. And now we just need to use pliers to pull this little plug out that got turned sideways. All right, so this is the like Amazon boroscope for like 30 bucks. And it's pretty good because it's USB-C instead of Wi-Fi like some of the older ones. But the main reason we need it is because it has this 90 degree angle, which you can switch by, oh yeah, pressing this button here. So, button. you press that, and I'm taking, oh, no, I'm taking pictures. How do I switch? And I think it says, it says right here, long press. Mm. Oh. Okay, folks, you we know what we're doing. Wall, okay. yeah, 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 long yeah. press, there we go. Okay. Ah, you blinded me. Let's demonstrate that again. Long press, front. Long press, side. So I'm gonna go to this straightforward view and go all the way down here. With so the hole I just made is right there. Okay, now, let's see. Actually, not terrible looking in here. I mean, there's carbon and stuff building up there. So let me switch to the uh, 90 degree. Put the hole slightly to your right or to your right just a little bit. Yeah. You, yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, okay. uh, back a little more. Okay, long press. Slide it forward. A little more, a little more. Oh, right there, right there. So, not as bad as some of the ones we see online, but definitely got gunk, so. Uh, rotate to the right a little bit. There we go. Uh, right there. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see once we clean all this if the message goes away. It still looks gunked up, but it doesn't look like it's 100% blocked. So we'll find out. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's some gunk. You might want to put it farther in there. I might want to get some gloves. I can't, I can't put it further in there. It's stuck. Oh, on gunk? Go. Ready? No. You're done? No, I'm ready. I'm just Good. getting it covered. <laughs> Definitely making progress, but man, it, it's, you know, it's a little bit slow and go. It looks like water. So now that we've done both sides, um, they're pretty cleared out. We're going to take off this, this head. The instructions say just leave it finger tight and put on this one here which instead of the hole on the top it has a little 90 degree hole and we'll go and blast out each of the cylinder the tube going to each of the cylinders and that's where we'll start to see water shooting out through the spark plug holes which i know sound terrifying but that's what, how it goes and then we'll go through the process of pushing out the uh the water and changing the oil this is uh, the 90 degree view of the first tube. Um, there was that always that obstruction no matter how much I cleaned this one. Uh, the other ones had a much deeper 
hole you could see down. So hopefully this is normal. All right, so both sides are pretty cleared out now, probably like 95%. And the instructions say next to hand crank the engine to get out as much water as you can. So what I'm gonna do, there's no center bolt down here. So what I'm gonna use is this triple square. Same one I used to take off the uh, pulley. So I'm using an M10. And I'm just put it on one of these, slowly turning to the right. And it's gushing water out. You can hear it kind of gurgling. It was doing more a minute ago. I think water will continue to work its way out um, and the instructions say to change the oil because water will be in the oil pan and in the oil filter so I have an oil change kit as well so I got to drain the oil like you normally would. After putting the spark plugs back in and draining the oil, new oil filter, um, it says to crank the engine over a few more times and just gonna keep cranking to the right now that there's compression in there because I have spark plugs. It's noticeably harder. And the instruction says if if I can't keep doing this, which is not easy, um, it's saying if I can't keep doing this, and you hear that like compression sound, that's okay. But if you if I run into a spot where I can't do it anymore, that means there's water still inside the pistons. And obviously it means I gotta go drain it out again. Next step was to reinstall the uh, grease plug and this was harder than I thought but um, what finally worked for me was just to make a, a socket combination. I figured I'd rather damage a English thread so I used a 930 seconds adapter on there and that fits right in there and then I just hammered on the back of that and that seemed to to finally get in there and just really took it slow. But you can't get much of a swing in here, obviously, because there's not very much room. So, you know, it's a little bit of work and I had to do it off camera because I don't have my son here holding the camera right now. Right side's done as well. Um, this, everything's harder on this side because of this pipe here. Next day, we spent a little longer than we needed to doing some other repairs. Um, the exhaust pipe, if you're going to do this, you might want to have some spare bolts on hand because those were totally rusted and we couldn't reuse them, et cetera, in the store. Um, otherwise, everything's back together and we're about to test it. We just have to take the front end out of service position. All right, we're gonna fire it up for the first time and see if we got the water out of the engine. <laughs> Don't see any water squirting out or oil. Okay. Well, I guess put the bumper back on. A couple final thoughts, um, sounds much better. This is a couple days later, we've started it. Um, like five or six cold starts, because that's the only time the secondary air injection kicks in is our cold start. Cleared the code, started it, ran it for a little bit, and then waited for another day. The code hasn't returned, so I presume that's good. About this, this has been a, a great tool. Um, the only thing I would comment on is that these little rubber bands that were put on here by uh, the auto house machine were great. They were mark marking the right spots, but as you're handling this and tons of oil and water is getting in your hands, they start to slide around because they're rubber. Take a paint pen and make a permanent mark on here. Um, since they moved on me, I had to just remeasure for each one, but that's even not even a big deal at all. I mentioned that I had to go find this and this I got at Lowe's. I highly recommend this tool. You know, it, it was, like I said, under $300, and which still kind of sucks that you have to even do this. Audi designed it this way, and it's a flaw in my opinion, but 
Um, this was way more within reach than me trying to get a hold of the Audi tool or taking it to a shop and spending thousands of dollars. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope this is successful and helpful to you.